Hey guys, welcome to our review of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, Episode 3. Uh, so when we last spoke, Episode 1 and 2 was kind of had some pacing issues, kind of didn't have, really have the impact that we were hoping for, some stuff was changed around, and we were kind of cold on it. And we were like, let's hope Episode 3 really kind of gets things started. Well, uh, the episode title is Adar, and we get another world-building episode. Should be called Adul, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. There's Burn. so many new characters, <laughs> and Lord. they're introducing. I'm like, we're, we're still not done? I mean, we're already... I was already thinking the plot lines where it's like, okay, I'm focusing on three different things, Harfoots, the thing, the thing, and now I got these new characters, and he's got a son, and he's got a daughter, and the daughter's doing this, and the son is, is with the fucking boats, and the daughter's going to school. I don't give a shit! They're two millennium early. I don't you know. give a shit. Uh, I do give a shit about Numenor. Like, it was great seeing Numenor because I am a huge fan of Numenor and the Numenorians simply because <laughs> there's a heavy metal band, uh, the New Numenorian, uh, whose album I recommend, uh, Adore, is a good album. Go check it out. I'll leave a link down there uh, for their band camp if you want to support them. Um, <clears throat> I like uh, their music. And I was like, what is the name here? What is this all about? And I looked it up, and I was like, this is the coolest shit ever. Like, they're like the fucking prototype. They're like the most badass human civilization that ever fucking lived in Middle Earth. They're supposed to be eight feet tall. <laughs> they're supposed to live hundreds of years and be badasses. No. And I'm like, oh, my God, please do this. If this series does the rise and fall of Numenor and the Numenorians, I'm like, well, this is going to be fucking Except great. You have too high. Right? But... I don't know. That might be season four and five. No, shit. you can't do the rise because they don't have rights to the the rise. Oh, you're right. You're right. This is wait, the fall. It, yeah. Well, we can already tell what's happening, me and Alex, because it's like we walk right into the middle of. It seems as if the uh, Numenorians have no idea who uh, uh, who, who this the, one of the most famous elves in the land is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, look, this doesn't. What? It doesn't quite feel like Lord of the Rings a lot of the time when you're no. familiar with some of the source exactly material. Um, yeah. And and like it, it feels like pretty good fantasy, and I can imagine people enjoying it the same way. Like if you've never read Harry Potter, and then the Harry Potter movie comes out, and he's like Fabio, he's like six feet tall, long flowing hair. <laughs> Harry Potter, ha Hagrid's five he's feet no tall. <laughs> the headmaster of Hogwarts is Marcus Aurelius, the actual Marcus Aurelius, <laughs> okay. two thousand years uh, because they're condensing history, and it doesn't make any sense. Right. And then like. The, the Weasleys or dog people. Are, like And then you're like, oh, that could be cool to watch. It's like, yeah, but it doesn't feel like all of the things that we've been reading for so long. And that's what this feels like to yeah. me. It's like, it's like, oh, cool. We've got some cool fantasy stuff. It's like, wait yeah. a minute. None of this makes any fucking sense. It's, it was cool to see the visuals. I'll yeah. give them that. But, of course, their budget is extremely high. So the city looks beautiful. You can even sit, tell the architecture. Joe kind of evokes Gondor, right? Because you got that big, uh, long uh, section in the cliff. They even have the white tree. And oh, Denethor's diving board. Right? Because Gon Gondor are descendants of the this particular yeah, civilization, again, the New North. The visuals are killing it. Yeah. The, uh, orcs look, <laughs> the orcs look fucking great, but it's... Everything else. So, what did you guys think of the episode, Joe? I feel like this is still trying to get a foothold, like uh, on trying to be Lord of the Rings. I just don't feel like it's Lord of the Rings, especially with all this going on, new characters, and I don't care about the migration and the herpes. So, uh, Harfoots, Harfoots, the herpes. <laughs> yeah, her herpes. <laughs> They're stained. I don't want them there, Alex. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't yes. want them there. Oh, the yeah. Harfoot migration sub. I don't, I don't care. Know like, what why? The hell. I don't care. We don't leave anyone I behind. I do care about the mystery man. That's the only part about that yeah. that I give a shit about. But it's like you're sucking up so much time that you know we could actually now. It's got to be Gandalf now. Now that now that timelines mean fucking nothing, I have, and they, and they fired <laughs> right. the historians and didn't even read any of the books. That's fucking Gandalf, right? If the Numenorians are five feet tall and, and yeah. they kind of suck, they're just fucking normal <laughs> dudes. They get their ass beat by just a guy. Some fucking no. dude shows up and no. kicks the shit out of six yeah, Numenorians. A Southlander who no. Yeah. Anyways, anyways. 
So yeah, this is just more setup. Uh, more characters are being in, like introduced. Mm-hmm. You're just like, well, what the hell's going on? Exactly. I, I need this to kind of move and it would be now. great if the characters were interesting that they're introduced. But, but I do not care. No. Like this. Uh, so there's a shipmaster here, and he's more than a shipmaster and captain. He is actually. The guy that we see at the beginning, yo, did you know this, of Lord of the Rings when they're fighting Sauron. He's si- he's one of the humans because the Numenorians, let me just get to the chase. The Numenorians are like, uh, were fucking allied with the elves mm-hmm. against Morgoth. And the Southlanders, you know, were kind of those bad humans that you saw, those wild humans in Lord of the Rings that allied with the Dark uh, Lord. And... So he's actually that guy with the sword that cuts uh, Sauron, and then his son, who you also see, his son's the one who cuts the, yeah. the hand, and and his son, who you also see, is uh, also in there, and he's the guy that kind of takes the fucking ring, and he's like walking off, and Elrond's like, no, nah, I'll just just stop him there, don't don't let him go, but they let him go. That's that's Lord of the Rings, the Peter of- Jackson, <laughs> but these are two characters that we see at the beginning that are in the fucking battle against Sauron. So you're like, okay, I see how this ties in. Eventually these guys are going to get there. That's cool. But like right now, the way they're introduced, don't care about them. I think this this daughter character of his is new. They're changing stuff around because I think he had two sons and both of his sons were in the battle. Or again, I, I don't remember specifically, but they're changing some stuff around. Some I guess because stuff. they have, yeah, a lot that, of that's stuff. That's fucking generous. Holy shit. Yeah. How is it that nobody recognizes uh, Galadriel? She yeah. shows up and like, who are you? I'm Galadriel. And everyone should be like, holy shit. That, that fucking statue is of you. <laughs> yeah, that one. And that one. And that, and that one. Me. And you and know every- that guy who's our king right now? And everybody's like. His brother's going to be your son-in-law. Yeah. And actually at this time, if these idiots are alive, should currently be your son-in-law. Yeah. But see, that's the problem where I guess because the elves live so long that they're condensing everything down. Because you would literally have to change human actors so fucking often, right? Where you wouldn't be able to attach yourself to this particular or human, just don't and then introduce they die, these two yet. and then it's yeah, I get just it. just wait till to do yeah. this. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff that should be happening sure. as of right now in Oregion with Selena well, Rimor it is, it, and it Anatar. It is happening, Alex. It's happening behind the scenes. The, for example, the they're going in the Numenor. The Hold on, Numenor already not be hate behind the scenes. Like, better not be. No, it's not going to be <laughs> behind so the wait. scenes. The setup is behind the scenes. Let me fucking finish. <laughs> so Numenor is already under the influence of Sauron. I hope because there's no fucking. Re- well, obviously. So th- again, another thing you need to know is Numenor gets split between loyalists and, mm-hmm. and ones that hate the fucking elves because so- Sauron is seeding, you know, uh, hatred and distrust mm-hmm. between the races and between factions. The Lord of the Rings, he's out in the open fighting. And in this age, he's behind the scenes doing all this shit. And you're like, why are you acting this way? Um, which could tie into why the Forge, he's like, I need it by spring. And we're like, why? This doesn't make any sense. It could be Sauron's already there influencing Celebrim Bor to hurry up and and do the forge, or you need to do this by that. And he's actually the one that helps create the rings and and, and mm-hmm. influence and betrays everybody. Anyways, I'm just so, saying there is zero yes. reason to introduce these two idiots that, okay. are, that are two thousand years early if we're not yeah. showing. Like, why are we not showing the behind the scenes stuff mm-hmm. that we should be showing? Which, and why which are, two idiots? The rulers of Numenor, Elendil and Isildur, should not be around. Like, uh-huh. w- you can introduce them in yeah. season five when it's yeah. fucking relevant. For just fucking save there's going to be five. There's seasons. not a single casual fan of Lord of the Rings that's like, I need to see Elendil right now, or I'm not going to be satisfied. You didn't even know his fucking name before the show started, so it doesn't Joe matter. Joe still has no idea who you're talking you're about. Like, <laughs> why are we not seeing the Lord of Gifts <laughs> fuck with the elves right now. Yeah, like, that would be fuck. fuck that it. would get people interested. We wouldn't be having this conversation. No, yeah, we'd be like, different. when the fuck is this shit gonna get interesting? I have no problem with them, like the logistics of humans and, human, and like, and then that stuff. It's just like, oh, holy shit! Why are we jumping forward when we haven't done the things that should be happening now? Yeah. And I get that he could be doing things behind the scenes, but right. fucking show me that because that's what I'm I here agree. for. I agree. It's called the Rings of and Power. Th- show me how they were made. I have hope that they will show it, Alex, and, and they're just kind of. Trying to do a narrative thing Season to make four. it more like interesting. Aha! So that's why you are 
All the Asildor stands are now happy. like an idiot, and you're an idiot. Okay, anyways. So, but let's get into the nitty-gritty of the episode. So we talked a little bit about Numenor, and this will factor in. God, I hope they do this. It's going to be fucking crazy uh, if they do the fall of Numenor, because, like, the entire world shifts. uh, Prior to the book now. There's fucking cool ass. Yeah, it's I heard about that. There's Did a you new not book have it? coming? Yeah, in October. Pre-order now. Okay, I will because this shit is fucking awesome. I'm I'm a big fan of uh, Numenor, but not these Numenorians. <laughs> they're short. Well, they're these sh- are, this is not my weak. Numenor. No, this right? is not my Numenor. These are sh- <laughs> these are short little bitch people that get beaten up by like <laughs> a random up in dude the back alley. So it is um it is revealed that Halbrand is um what Joe he's. King of the Southland? King. He's a hidden king. Dollar Store Aragorn. Dollar Store Aragorn. <laughs> I'm a reluctant king, and I and should I be in charge, wanna. but I'm running away from it instead. Yeah. And and he'll, he's going to fall in love with an elf woman yeah. because because that has to happen, too. And Oh, my God. Oh, They're just kind of oh like repeating. Uh, it's like poetry. It rhymes if it works. Well, it's not working because your fucking stand-ins for Sam and Frodo, uh, we don't care about. No. You're, you know, Gladriel is like the most unlikable character. Yeah. She's so hard to like. She's so stern. She's so uncaring. She's, she's, she's so young and inexperienced stubborn. and rash and she's stubborn. Oh, wait, never mind. She's none of those things. Right. Because she's fuck you. thousands of years <laughs> yeah. old and she's smart as fuck. But no, she's walking into a kingdom and demanding hey, give me shit. this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now, granted, she doesn't realize, that, I guess, at this point, point i guess the elves never fucking check in oh no they were turning ships away but she doesn't realize that the shit is going down behind the scenes here and sauron has already started fucking this place up but anyways we hope uh we hope um so uh but we we see this hellbrand and initially i thought like he was sauron in disguise or maybe sauron and he didn't realize he was sauron got knocked in the head I'm giving up on that. It's clear what they're doing with him, that he could potentially be corrupted. Because the only time, uh, you know, uh, 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 Galandriel is, like, not a total asshole is when she's interacting with him. So I guess they're trying to do some relationship there. And he's going to be influenced by the darkness right he, he's either if he's a human he's either going to get a ring and turn by the end of the series turn into a uh nazgul, uh, nazgul um or maybe he could be he could the, be the ghost it, army yeah, leader the, the leader of the men who didn't show up to the, the guys who didn't yeah. show up who, who knows it, it could be interesting what they do with with him uh but as of right now he's kind of like a budget aragon and he's not really that kind of interesting to follow around and same thing with galadriel uh she's just difficult to like um and but i think that's what they're doing alex i think that you know obviously there's a certain audience watches like women good men stupid i hate this show right but maybe they're doing an arc where she's like an asshole but then has to learn how to talk to people and through how brand becomes open the one time we see her smile and happy is this actual cool shot where they do the slow motion camera where she's riding a horse all horse riders everywhere was like yes it's fucking this is what it's like and i love horses and and so I'm sure all the, the, the girls in watching went crazy, but it's like the only time we see her happy uh, is when she's on a horse. So n- never, never, never take her off that horse. <laughs> yeah. I just don't buy the, I mean, it makes sense if she was like a human woman that's like 30, like she's tw- in her early 20s and she's, she has to have an arc and learn and learn these right. things. It's like you've been alive yeah. for so fucking long. Mm-hmm. You've, stud- you've studied with, you know, tears of angels and gods, mm-hmm. and you've been around like you're not an fuck idiot. Fuck that! Like, no, yeah. it just doesn't. It's make for it's the writers wanting to create the drama. This is why the historian, the, the Tolkien historian, probably said, "Fuck you," and they're like, well, "You're fired." And he's like, "Good, because you you suck." <laughs> well, that's right. They fired <laughs> Tolkien. Good. He's like, "Wait a minute, these people aren't alive." Yeah, for maybe years. that's like, why they're not eight feet tall, and they're okay. Anyways, fuck. Yeah, so for every good thing, there seems to be a bad thing, uh, you know, with what's happening here oh. uh, in in the direction and the writing and uh, the way they're depicting things. Um, so that's Numenor. So let's talk about the other, uh, the other subplots elf. here. So let's go to the Harfoot migration. 
Uh, <laughs> no, let's not do that one. <laughs> yeah. Can I'm sorry. I, I don't care I about don't the hardfoots. I don't care about this. It's stupid. It's like, all right, well, now Nori got us in trouble, so now we're in the back of the pack, and now we're probably oh, going to be no. left behind. No one gets left and behind. my except ankle for, hurts. Except for that except one for guy. Except for you. Fuck you. And, that, and the guy that got... Uh, bit by bees. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that guy got <laughs> stung to death by bees and it was super funny? It's the like, Harfoots wait, are what? fucking assholes. Fuck them. Man, fuck the Harfoots. Take Harfoot. a shower, goddammit. Well, we've been around uh, for a thousand years. Like, no, you fucking have it. These are, but Joe, these are the um, hobbits before they settled the Shire. And uh, they're important. Why? No, they're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> they're not important. Really, the only way, the only part I'm interested in when the Harfoot, when it goes to the Harfoots, is the mystery man. The mystery man. That I'm, I'm for. I'm like, okay. So I figured out who that guy is. By the way, it's who Abraham it? Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. <laughs> uh, because <laughs> nothing makes sense any fucking more, and it doesn't right, matter. The time condition. Yeah. <laughs> no, that means it can be uh, who I thought it was, Gandalf. Gandorf. Gandorf. Gandalf. You have <laughs> no idea how right you actually are. I, I think. That because that's what I think. I, I I heard this theory, and I think it's gonna on who he actually is. It's Gandalf, but not Gandalf. <gasps> it is a pre-Gandalf. Gandalf the Brown. It is a scout sent by the angels, right, to check in on Sauron and what's happening. Uh-huh. And it's not quite Gandalf because remember, Gandalf gets his name Gandalf in the. Third Age in, in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, he shows up on a fucking like, boat. Yeah. Uh, but this is like, you know, he goes, because they even drop little hints about it in, okay, here's. Why did he redu- just like Because the Harfoots are so fucking boring. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the mystery man. <laughs> That's here's my, my theory. Okay, this is a motherfucking pre-wizard. It's a wizard. What if it's Radon it's from Elden Ring and he just meteors no. to the earth? <laughs> No. Because he does that. <laughs> uh, but they're leaving tricks on that because he says, one of the Harfoot leaders says, I've never seen you know somebody come down, but normally they go up. So I think that's going to happen. By the end of this series, this mystery man is going to go up and then t- tell the heavens or the angels, what are they called? The Mithra? Uh, the Valar? Um, the Valar? No, my Myar. Myar, the, the, the tier that the Gandalf. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, then it's the Valar. So what's happening? And then, you know, and then there'll maybe be drama with the gods here because I think the god, the elf god in the Undying Lands has to play a part in season four or five if they're doing the fall of Numenor, right? So do you, this is too... What? This That's is too far. Be, yes, because... so Look, I'm lot. having more fun talking about... Abraham Lincoln vampire. Right, he's the only the, interesting the, part. Then we are okay, like get this, get this, get this. So uh, uh, Gandalf is talking to moths in uh, and here, and this guy is talking with fireflies. And I think that fireflies dying was, you know, because he's not fully Helitosis. accustomed to his power. He was like, not <gasps> evil. Uh, Gandalf is known for fire and fire that doesn't burn, and he was once called. Uh, God damn it! So Gandalf can be associated with fire. Well, you guys get the Ring of Fire eventually. And then when also, it comes do you the remember boat. that moment when he's in the Shire and he's like, "How oh, dare I am not some conjurer of cheap, cheap tricks!" And his voice gets crazy and it gets fucking dark. That's kind of what happened when that the the stranger was kind of sick. So I think this motherfucker is a. Uh, is like a pre-Gandalf before he knows, like a scout. And then he'll go back up and tell what's happening, and then they'll send give, him back down. You give this guy a moonstone, and he turns into Gandalf. Then, and then, then they send down the second five one. wizards you know, to help out uh, later on in the Third Age. Okay, that is the most interesting part. I'm making it more interesting in my head because what we're given here in Episode 3 is not interesting. <laughs> Right, uh, I like the theory crafting part because the Harfoot stuff is is just not it's you just like boring. Don't go off the trail. No one because gets left behind no, except for everybody you. gets left behind. Yeah. And then he's like, "Let's take the guy who his ankle is busted and let's put him behind." Back. 
So he gets left behind. We're Fuck not going to sense you to death. We're just going to make you watch us since, like, like as we go over the horizon and then you get eaten by wolves. Anybody could have put that motherfucker in a wheelbarrow and had some they don't have those. woman or no, no, child who isn't pushing all the carts wheel them along and other families help that family. But no. The Harfoots there don't were, give a fuck. There were people like jumping and skipping along right. with the caravan, and no, they only you have giant size uh, wheelbarrows and carts. Right. So you can't put a you can't put Harfoot no, in them. They're too right. small. They're it would look silly. Small, It'd right. be fucking silly. Why You're would you put that behind. in there? Goodbye. Yeah. Fuck you. Man, fuck that. Anyways, uh, but Thanks, they tie Amazon. up this story where it's like the giant man, the mystery man friend, and then he's going to help them as they migrate. But that's all that was. So that was honestly the worst part. And the Harfoots, again, have been created by, not necessarily created by Amazon. They were mentioned once in the book. But they are blown up to a huge amount of importance here because Amazon dictated that it's Lord of the Rings and people won't know what's going on if you don't have the fucking hobbits as the audience surrogate. I don't know. It's not working for me. Maybe it's working for children or... Or the female audience, because they're they're happy go lucky and they're the hope of the universe. No. World. All right. Anyway, they so that's when that. people get stung to death by bees. They can fuck off forever. So, what did you guys think of the third subplot, which is the elf prison escape? I like that because there's action actually involved in this. There's yep. actually something going. That was the on. only action that there was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's about the only thing I liked about this. Okay. Unfortunately, Alex. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think that like this is something that Amazon is is kind of created that fits within the world that is established. It kind of makes sense. Aaron Deer. Aaron is Deer. Deer. Their new character. So like, <laughs> I'd rather have a new character than like Aaron Deer than these sh- cheap knockoffs of uh you know the Lord yeah. of the Rings type archetypes, right? Yeah. So I mean, this was kind of, there were some cool scenes going on here. It's kind of like them, you know. Taking over the Southlands, trying to make their own little kingdom, and they've been burrowing, and there's like sulfur popping up from the earth. They're wearing these really cool like snake skins I like or that. reptile hide skins, from the sun. and so there, there's some cool stuff that that happened here. There's one of the worst CG things I've seen in the series. Like everything in the series looks beautiful. That war looked terrible. Like there's yeah, a scene. looked like a hyena from Disney. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember them looking that ridiculous, yeah. but surprisingly, Amazon did get a little brutal there. I didn't yeah. expect all the, like, uh, you know, that thing mauling people and seeing their guts and blood everywhere. Um, so that was that was fun. Yeah, the fight scene was good. They used the fucking chains to, like, knock the orcs aside, and they were kicking the orcs' ass until they called that warg. And <laughs> the, the orcs are soccer. Oi, bruv! You fucking muppet! I it love, could go dude. Here. The orcs look fucking great. They, they look good. It's just they it, look good. That the, makeup yeah. effect, and I like the Cockney accent because that's how they talked in. I know it's Peter just, Jackson. It's, it's just fucking silly. It was cool, but that that was another good part of the episode. I think this this prison break. Ultimately, one thing didn't make sense to me. Maybe y'all caught it. Uh, so Aaron Dior meets up with his other elf buddies who were captured before him, and they form a plan to escape. Uh, like they piss off the orcs, they give them water. And the orc is because I thought it was going to be poisoned or something. Pee. <laughs> I, made <you> drink. <laughs> I made you drink pee. No, he cuts one of their necks while he's drinking, and then so they're like, "All right, fuck this, let's get out of here." Um, and they almost make it. His captain almost makes it out. But he stops suddenly, and I'm like, what, what happened? He turns around, and there's arrows in him. And then I'm like, but where did the arrows come from? There's three orcs way off in the background oh, that, okay. the, that, are this, that are this I big. And they're like moving around, so you just have to assume that Okay, they have patrols that, yeah. that, okay, makes sense. There's no way out. And then they pull him back. So, uh, and they have him meet Adar. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for Adar. And we're like, who the fuck is Adar? And you get to see him at the very end of the episode and blurry. I'm like, what's happening here? Is that, is that the Eminem? Is that Sauron? Because, <laughs> so, you know, Adar, you know, Sauron can take many forms. And so this is either Sauron in a different form. It could be a corrupted elf because those do exist in the lore. Well, that's where orcs came from. Is Yeah. Uh, so maybe we're going to get the actual plot now with this guy and we got to get his introduction so we're going <laughs> to get more and then his wife and yes. his children yeah yeah he has two uh, two kids and the college roommate we need to know what he's doing yeah. right now and then he's whether trouble. they're going Another to the job. academy or yeah, not yeah, yeah. and yeah. It, do they like ship <laughs> i think i'm hoping he's like orc 
you know, 1.0, like it's like one of the first tiers of corrupted elves, you know, where yeah, they're tortured and mutilated. Yeah, I don't want it to be Sauron elves. yet. I want it to, I, he needs to have some servants and shit. Well, if, there, if he is, if as we hope, he is in Eregion and he's influencing things in Numenor, there, he yes. cannot be in the Southlands. Right. Because he cannot fucking teleport. Because he should already be influencing Celebrimbor, yeah. so uh, uh, to hurry up with his forge and to make these, uh, make something and eventually make the rings. But also on Numenor, influencing uh, the cor- the split between the human loyal to the elves and just fucking up the Numenorians to make them hate elves and eventually potentially go to war uh, and just see jealousy and stuff. Because we do see Farazon. Fer- so you know when you go to Numenor, you see the the chick and the guy, and they're kind of like the rulers, yeah. and they're debating amongst themselves what to do. The dude eventually like fucking just goes kind of crazy. He's corrupted, and and he tries to uh, do this war against. Um, I don't want to spoil it. So so it's it's just really really cool. You can and just tell that he's a butthole. He's yeah. He's in. It's gonna be awesome if they do that in seasons four and five because I don't really think they're doing it now. Yeah, it'll be in episode five, and then I don't know what the <laughs> fuck we're like. We're just like skipping through history, so I don't know. It's gonna be crazy. I I again um with what way the way they're condensing everything down and and characters are showing anything could happen really, uh, but so far I feel like. The, the direction has not been great. The pacing has not been great. Some of the changes are questionable. And it's another forgettable kind of world-building episode. Now, it's great for those who like watch the YouTube channels and just want to live in the world. And part of me does like that, where it's like, I'm in no rush. I fucking love the visuals. I, I love the idea of Numenor and, and all this stuff. And so I want to kind of live in the world. It's just I wish I was living in the world with more interesting characters. Yes. Written exactly. better that we could, I, you know, yeah. <laughs> but right now it's like, eh. all right. It's, uh, it's like, let's move it on. Let's, <laughs> <Yeah>. let's go. <laughs> you know, I changed my mind. I like that they're skipping 1,500 years at a time. Let's just fucking the end. Let's get to the end. Um, yeah. So I think we covered it all. Sorry, our camera shut off, and so I had to re-record it. And then, like, did I already talk about this? We haven't yeah. done our final, so ver- yeah. got to do our final verdicts. Uh, yeah, so uh, final verdicts for episode three. I'm going to go with a four. Holy oh, shit! <laughs> Not a lot That's happened. Everything Below was, uh, average, Joe. A lot of the things are still going on. It's still unanswered. Uh, we get more mysteries and more introductions to people. So the pacing on it is not very well. And... I don't care about Nori and the Harpfoots. Right, I do not either, yeah. so the That's one third of the uh, episode right there. Best thing was the orcs and the... Mm-hmm. Let's see, we keep forgetting us. Uh, Aaron uh, Deer? Aaron Deer. It's like a deer. <laughs> Aaron Deer. That's no, it's not an Aaron Deer. It's, um, yeah, that yeah, guy. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> the guy with a nice fade. His <laughs> Shut your <laughs> mouth. Aaron Deer. Yeah, Deer. It's Aaron Deer. Deer. Yeah. You were right. My well, best. Right. Yeah, that's uh, about the best part. So other okay. than that, everything else. Visually. So that's where you got your four points. Yeah, visually, it is amazing. That's where the, yes. all the budget's going. You right. see in the background, but once the story continues, you're just not very compelled with these uh-huh. characters, so you don't really care what's going you're on. You're like, this is looking amazing. Like, uh, and then oh, you meet shit. the people <laughs> in the world, and you're like. It's like, you're ruining this. Move us, <laughs> can you move aside? I'm trying to see. <laughs> trying to see your house, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's a cool building over there. <laughs> but, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wow, Joe. Four out of ten. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, see, Joe doesn't have the context of a lot of, oh, shit. Oh, is that what they're about to do? Oh, is that that person who's doing this right too, now? Though, like, right? You're giving, I feel like you're giving yourself too much hope. It's like, oh, they're going to do I this. I do this every time. This is going to be amazing. Yeah. I'm like, None of that ever happened. Well, they, they've already said that they're doing five seasons, and I think they're already about to film season two. And I think Amazon has already spent this money, so it's going to eventually happen. It's just, why is everything so fucking painfully slow. uninteresting and slow leading up to it when you don't have to depict it that way? You can get people excited up front with the knowledge that Alex knows, uh, you know, and then kind of plant those seeds and then go to the world building a little mm-hmm. bit and then go back. What do you think, Alex? I, I think it's it's visually stunning, and I can understand why a lot of people would just love it as generic fantasy. I think some of the issues that I have with it is just, you know, when you do have the context, 
and you see you have a scene where Galadriel shows up and she should either be immediately feared or revered. And I think that's how you can you can uh, show that split that should be happening right now. Half the people are like, holy shit, that's crazy. And then the other half go, oh, she, you know, they, they, want, to, they want to say knife ears like we're in fucking Dragon Age, then fine, whatever. They, they can go off and we can do these things. I just don't think that they've just... To me, they've justified any of the changes that they made. It feels needless, and I think it's making, for me, the story worse. It just, I don't like a lot of the little things that they're doing. I feel like we introduce characters that honestly should have been saved for season five, the way that the timeline works. I, they, they have no point in this episode, and we could have waited for a really long time. Um, and so there is some good stuff in here. There is, but the Lord of the Rings scale for me is is a harder scale than a lot of other things. I mean, these are things that that I truly do love. Anytime the new book comes out, I, I get it immediately. November twenty twenty two, right? Uh, yeah. I think it uh, is it November. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've already pre ordered. I don't know when it's showing up, but it the fall, has to do with the Numenor. Yeah, the fall the fall of Numenor is the uh, is coming out. So it's like this is it's a harder scale. This isn't like we're talking about one of the fucking Marvel shows that I won't care about. This is something that right. I drew. Yes. Do not take this scale and compare it. This to is goddamn something. Yeah. She Hulk. Yeah, this is something that I truly, truly care about. And then on this scale, when you you tie in all of those things, this feels below average. I'm constantly reminded that they are not, they didn't either read the books or give a shit, that they fired the historian, that they're doing all these little things that I don't, if they had, re- if it had been all uh, released all at the same time and I go, oh, that's why they made those changes. But right now they look like they just didn't give a shit and they're making thi- like making changes for no reason. And honestly, it feels like it's not to the benefit. So I, I think this is below average Lord of the Rings. Four? Four. Ooh. Okay. Um, Goddamn. <laughs> no, I, I totally understand where you're coming from. And uh, I think the changes they're doing are for dramatic effect for mass audiences I don't think they need to do that. I think they need to have more respect for the source material and and faith that people will still fucking understand and they'll, un, you know, yeah. if you're doing it that way. But like, I guess they got to do these fucking tropes. It just mess. It just that's bad writing and, and have not having faith in your audience. I see what they're doing and hopefully it pays off here. Right. Because we're still questioning here i think that the seeds are already there i think that the reason why it's happening that way is because they want to set up farazan uh that guy that you see and i forget his that other queen queen there with him what her name was but they're gonna be from season one two three four and five and ultimately fucking uh numenor is 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 going to get fucked by sauron uh in in a crazy way and so they want to introduce those characters now and and have all the seeds of distrust um, for the elves happen now even though you know the timeline may not work for it and there's multiple generations of Numenorians slowly degrading and then every once in a while a few going back to the elves right and setting up the white tree that's where the white tree comes from in the lore and then going back to distrust because you know Sauron is doing his things Mm -hmm. and to try to depict that I think they think that mass audiences will be lost and so they're just going to condense it and give you characters that you know and recognize their face and then over many years then you know create that kind of drama so I don't know. Why not just, just introduce Frodo like and the, Sam then? Like, just throw it all in. It doesn't make sense. If the timeline doesn't matter, just throw everybody well, they in. are with a uh, fucking... <laughs> no, I mean, I mean actual, like, <laughs> Bilbo shows up, and he's the, he's the king of Gondor. Well, now it's that's like, wait, fucking what? ridiculous, Alex. You're going too far there. Mm. Um, it, but it seems like season one is kind of going to be a fucking bore <laughs> if this is the way they're going, and and then... And then it only really gets good in season three, four, and five when you know what happens with the Numenorians and Sauron behind the scenes. So, uh, but you have to rate it like it is now, and it is kind of a bore, kind of forgettable world building that it feels like they're getting some stuff wrong. Since I know a little bit, I'm kind of in the middle. Joe, not really Tolkien. Mm-hmm. I'm in the middle. Alex is has all the books and everything. And for that, I, and I'm a little more hopeful than you guys. So I think I'm gonna go. I'm excited if they're doing the Numenor stuff. They have to be. They wouldn't do this whole fucking faction, whether it happens at the end of season one, two, or four, or five. I'm I'm excited for it if they do it right. And the question is, can these writers, can these directors, I already mm. see you smiling, do it right? Um, I'm going to give it a six out of ten. I think it's slightly above average. 
I liked of this three stuff. I liked the Numenorean stuff, even though they got a lot of the depictions wrong. They're not, you know, eight feet tall. They're not super soldiers. They're not prototype humans. They're just fucking dudes. They're just fucking dudes. That is so disappointing. The city looks fucking great. They got that right. Um, and then, but I do like the fact that there's there's already sowing discontent in the elves, and and that is the seed is planted. I like uh, the Aaron Deer. Yeah, we got him. Aaron Deer <laughs> stuff like prison break. He's like the only one doing any action and fighting back. He's like, <laughs> so the fact that he's fucking doing something <laughs> is is yeah, good. Sure. He's about to meet Adar and hopefully get the plot started. Uh, but the Harfoot, nah, get out of here, man. <laughs> so I'm not. Other than the Mystery Man, I like the Mystery Man. I'm I'm I think because I saw I was watching some theory channels. Check out uh, Screen Crush. Check out um, uh, Heavy Spoilers. Um, it's either Gandalf or a proto Gandalf who isn't yet Gandalf, but will retain the memories of Gandalf when he becomes Gandalf later on. So he goes down, and then he'll shoot back up and report what the hell's happening in in the world. Man, they would have to if that is actually Gandalf. They'd have to wildly change some other shit that I'm just. But it's not, not a, no. They don't have to change anything if it's a proto Gandalf. Only it's a I know, different I know, type. Of only character. if it's fucking proto Gandalf. I said if it is Gandalf. If it's legit Gandalf, then, then I'm gonna be yeah. pissed because that doesn't make sense. And yeah, and then you might as well. Introduce Frodo and, and, and Abraham and Lincoln Abraham, vampire. And Abraham, 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 Abraham. Let's fucking go. We already know there's werewolves. Werewolves are. But canon. I'm already convinced he's not a bad guy. Some people are like, oh, it's dark magic. He killed the fireflies on purpose. His flames are uh, cold flames. And they mentioned that when the elves were going into one of his empty castles, their flame went out and it's cold flame. And, and you know, it doesn't hurt her when she rolls into the flames. Yeah. No, I think that's all, you know, subterfuge and hand waving because Gandalf actually is considered one of the fire mages and is, is has control of fire and stuff. So when he gets the ring I don't of think fire, he's but he Sauron. I could be wrong. And if that's Sauron, I'll probably be pissed too. <laughs> but I like this mystery thing. It's like one thing to hold on to in this. <laughs> Of the Harfoots. Like, <laughs> um, they're so lucky they well, put yeah, the stranger well, there. Because if the stranger's not there and they're forcing the mm. fucking Hobbit thing for mass audiences, it'd be even worse. Six out of ten. Sorry. All right. So, yeah, that's it, basically. Um, I think we covered it all. Yeah. We probably don't even really need an episode breakdown because we... Oh, we went through it. We went through we it. Okay. Yeah, we covered it all. So, guys, <sighs> let us know what you're thinking. Um, tell us, are, are you a Tolkien fan? Uh, are you in the middle like me? Or are you like other Joe? Do you have no idea what's going on? And, and once you Just tell us that, movies. tell us <laughs> how, how is it going for you so far? Are you interested? Right now, we think it's kind of another forgettable world-building episode with new characters. Really? Please, no more... New characters. Oh, Except Adam. here's the poster for all the characters. Forgot about that. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, please let this be. Okay, there's too too much here. And now we're going on with everybody we've set up. Let's extend everybody we set up. I don't need another episode of new characters and new brothers and sisters. Well, Aaron and Deere's girlfriend has to come back. Her son is important. He has to come back. Adar has to come back. He's we have to do sword. more stuff with the dwarves. That's what's like, no, hey. that's the stuff I want. I want Adar to come back. I want to know what this, this corrupted mm -hmm. elf is going. I want to progress the storylines of everybody we know. You had, I guess they didn't have, there was too much to put Numenor into episodes one and, and two, and there's just three episodes. Here's the setup. Episode four, we're pushing everybody forward. Otherwise, we're, we're n it's not not going well. Uh, but after seeing this episode, I'm like, man, I'm actually enjoying House of the Dragon more. You know, it's more interesting to me. And that's sad because yeah. fucking Tolkien inspired fucking a lot of other writers, in, including, um, you know, George R. R. Martin. So it, it just... I don't know. I hope it gets better. Uh, that's uh, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, Episode 3. Tell us what you thought, and we will see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.